fans, welcome to yet another DC Discussions. I'm the Dad Knight, bringing you today The Flash Rebirth. So, this issue starts off, it's actually set during the events of uh, DC Universe Rebirth, and starts before Wally is actually rescued from the Speed Force. So, we're in a house where a murder very, very similar to the uh, murder of Barry's mother has occurred. Uh, there's a kid involved same age as what Barry was when his mother was murdered, and the police are convinced that the father did it. So, a uh, bit of a crime scene going on and things like that. They're discussing how, yep, father probably killed her. Um, Barry Allen comes in and goes, no, we can't assume that. That's not how justice works. We need to do an investigation. So, Director Singh tries to take him off the case because he's too emotionally attached, and... Barry says, well, that's why I should stay on the case, because if my father's case and my mother's case was handled properly, he wouldn't have been put in jail for 15 years. Uh, so while they're discussing that, Barry actually starts having some visions. First one, he actually sees Wally West. Remember, at this point, he actually doesn't know who he is uh, in the Speed Force calling out to him. Uh, he sees Zoom saying he's going to kill everybody, and he also sees a reverse flash. Uh, so he's having some hallucinations, he's not really sure why, um, he thinks maybe it might have something to do with the fact that this case is very similar to his mum's and it's just bringing on all this messed up stuff, so he leaves, goes and he goes and sees his dad, good old Henry Allen, while he's talking to him, he suggests that maybe the Speed Force is trying to tell him something, uh, and, and Barry mentions that, well, that would say that the Speed Force has some sort of a conscience, uh, conscience which I quite liked because they touched on that in, in the Flash TV show. I don't believe in the comics that they've sort of hinted at that fact before, so that was quite nice. Henry also mentions that maybe they should do some tests on the Speed Force, uh, to which Barry replies that Argus, Star Labs and the Justice League all have a deal that nobody wants to fuck with the Speed Force, basically. So from there, he decides he's going to go for a run to clear his head, uh, and whilst doing that, Wally West appears before him, like what happened in the DC Universe Rebirth comic, which, if you haven't watched that video, I would suggest you go back and do it. It's the first one I did. A fair bit happened in that comic that's linked in this and linked in the Titans one as well. So, Wally appears before him, basically says to him, Barry, thanks for everything. I know you don't know who I am. Um, and he, re he remembers Wally, pulls him out of the Speed Force. So, they talk for a little while talk about where he's been, what's happening, about how people's memories have been taken and manipulated and things like that. Uh, they decide to part ways, so Flash is going to go see Batman and talk about the letter that he got from his father during the Flashpoint event, because I believe they don't remember that either. And while he goes to see the Titans, again, I've already discussed that one. If you haven't seen that, episode two of the DC discussions, check that out. <clears throat> so... We then follow Barry to Gotham. He goes to see Batman in the Batcave. Batman is, investi is already investigating it. He's got the little button smiley face badge that came out of the Speed Force when Wally went to see him initially. And trying to work out what's going on there. He thinks maybe something to do with the Joker because that's what Batman does and the smiley face, you know. Um, and Barry tells him, fills him in basically, or what. Wally filled him in on, uh, they decide they're going to work on it together, they were in the Batcave for a while, pretty serious vibe going on in there, you know, Barry, you see a, a bit where Barry's sort of standing there thinking to himself, you know, I, I sort of feel like cracking a joke just to lighten the mood, but Superman once told me there's no jokes in the Batcave, no laughing in the Batcave, which I quite liked that, that was pretty cool. They don't really know what they're looking at at this point, they, they talk about maybe going to the Justice League, but... They don't really know what they're going to be telling them, so they decide against that as well. Uh, after a little while, Barry leaves and goes to, uh, I guess, check up on his crime scene and see how the case is coming along, uh, at which point he sees a couple of cops as he runs past them and they're discussing how the husband already confessed to the murder, so it's an open and shut case. So that's the end of this issue. A few uh, of my thoughts on it is, uh, again, Wally West being back in and reliving that moment of them uh, where they sort of connect again after he comes out of the Speed Force, that moment that they captured there was really just, it's just beautiful, I loved it. Uh, also, Barry and uh, Bruce in the Batcave, uh, not a great deal happening there, but I did like, like I said before, I did like the 
the way the thoughts that were going through Barry's head and um, you know he's he's a very light-hearted superhero he likes to joke and have fun but he sort of knows when to be serious and when he's in the presence of Batman he's like I'm, I've got to be serious from Batman will kick my head in if I don't there's no no laughing in the Batcave no fun in the Batcave Batman and one, one of my actual favourite things in this as well was the fact that the very first time we actually got to see Barry Allen was in the house where the crime scene occurred and he was standing there basically saying don't always assume that the husband did it and his shadow in the background was actually the Flash's shadow which I thought was really really clever and really cool. It sort of, got to, it sort of showed you without saying who he was that that was Barry Allen and he is the Flash. And I liked as well that, because they did briefly go into a bit of his origin in this, and they talked about how he got struck by lightning and doused by the chemicals, and his mother got murdered by the reverse flash, and his father was wrongly convicted, and <clears throat> took he eventually defeated the reverse flash and cleared his father's name as well. So it followed very similar origin to what happened in the Flash TV series as well. So I really, I really enjoyed that. That was cool. So, still, in the end of this, we don't really know who, we don't really know what the villain is, or the big bad is, or anything like that. Um, still got me hooked. Uh, I haven't, like I've said in the past, I haven't read comic books religiously like this, so these issues only give you very, very small snippets at a, at a time, so there wasn't any real big reveals or anything like that. They're still setting up a story. I really, really, really want to know what it is, so I'm going to keep reading. Like I've said before, I'm going to keep bringing these videos to you, discussing, giving you the thoughts, the synopsis, and, and everything like that. So please hit the like button here and subscribe to us. Check out our website, www.frombatcave.com. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash fromthebatcave, Twitter at twitter.com slash fromthebatcave, and again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I've been the Dad Knight, bringing you Flash Rebirth. Thanks. See you next time. This has been Cabana Production.